Okay. You can't come here, come here. Okay, thank you. Born in February 1943 in Kitugum Matid sub county, in Kitugum district, Livingstone Okelo Okelo went to Opete Primary School, Kitugum Junior Secondary School, and Samuel Baker School, which was then the best school in the entire northern Uganda region. He then joined the University of Nairobi, attaining a Bachelor of Arts in Land Economics. After school, Okerokero was employed in the Department of Land Valuation in the Ministry of Lands in 1971. It was around this time that he wanted to join a rebellion in Tanzania against the President Idi Amin Dada's government. I would be dead now, but my brother called from Kampala here. He called me in Nairobi and said, please don't. During his time as a valuer at the Ministry of Lands, he was close to the then minister Wilson Oriema. We would walk on foot to his home in Nakasero. We would drink there, then he would give me a driver to take me back. When Amini's men killed Oriema in 1977, Okirokiro fled into exile. I was taken across to Nairobi, where I, I registered as a refugee. When Amin was overthrown in 1979, Okero Okero returned to his office and was promoted to the post of chief government valuer. He worked for 10 years before he rose to the rank of commissioner for lands. It would be another 10 years of hard work before he retired into politics in 1996, representing Chua County in the 6th and 8th parliaments. Now at the age of 76, the professional land valuer is still very passionate about land matters. It is this fire that reminds him how President Yoweri Museveni wanted the Constituent Assembly to grant government ownership of land. President Museveni rejected four things in the constitution, the new constitution. One, term limits. Two, taking a land away from government. He says members of the Constituent Assembly rejected the proposal. Apparently the same day, I wrote a very, very lengthy letter to the Prime Minister saying that the constitutional, the constitutional makers had failed to do their work. But they as revolutionaries will not fail. They must find land for investment. If need be, the laws will be changed. Okelo Okelo narrates that President William Seven wrote to the Prime Minister. This letter was copied to the Chairman of Land Commission, Prince George Mawanda, who sought the advice of Okelo Okelo on the matter. So what is actually going on now, for those who don't know, is that Museveni is trying to put back what should have been in the Constitution, what he wanted. As an expert on land matters, Okelo Okelo says the government's proposal to compulsorily acquire land is still ill-intentioned and wants legislators to trade with caution. A parliament of Uganda, by Ugandans, for Ugandans, cannot pass that thing. He has advice on the rampant land grabbing in the country. If it is not, if it is not arrested and reversed, my suspicion is that it will spark off uh, a civil war. Which civil war may even end Project Uganda, by the way. The 76-year-old is not happy with corruption among public officials. When leaders turn cannibals on the resources of the nation, that nation is headed for darkness and doom. And this is what is happening here. Primitive accumulation of wealth. Okay, 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 caution is President William Seven to stop telling Ugandans that he is the reason that Uganda is at peace and instead work towards eradicating poverty. If at night you cannot sleep because of tomorrow the children have nothing to eat, you can't say peace. Peace for what? This member of the Uganda People's Congress who joined the party in 1962 is also not happy about the state of affairs in the party. And I, I, I really, I think I talked to Jimmy and I, I made my mind very clear. I told him if UPC was to die, 
he should allow that death to come from elsewhere, not from Obote's family. It is a, it is a disrespect to Obote. Okelo Okelo remembers his head days as a young man. One of his favorite pastimes was going to the nightclubs. Those days you are, you are with you are, you are one, one on one. You are all very close. Eh? When they prick you with the, this thing here, you feel electric going down. Eh? You see, these days it, 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 you don't even touch one another. Then how do you talk? He also played golf for 34 years until he suffered an accident which affected his back. Okelo Okelo is now enjoying his retirement at home in Tinda, Kampala. Agnes Nandutu, NTV, Living History.